이번에는 나라박 소식입니다. 최근 세계에서 가장 빠르게 기독교 성장세를 보이고 있는 국가면 이란을 꼽을 수 있습니다. 이란 인구 중에 다수가 무슬림이지만 끊임없이 개종자가 나오고 있다는 건데요. 이란에서 전해온 소식입니다. Afarin helped arrange their travel. The moment the Iranian government discovers someone has changed their religion, they will try everything to stop the person from sharing their new faith with others. Most of these new Christians paid a price for abandoning Islam. The government scares Christians, imprisons them, fires them from their jobs, kicks them out of school, and many other tactics, all in an effort to stop them from evangelizing. Afarin knew what they were about to experience could land them in trouble. CBN News met them shortly after they left Iran. Due to the sensitive nature of this report, CBN News has agreed not to reveal our location nor the names of the individuals associated with the story. And this is why they left Iran for a few days. For the first time, all 20 followed Christ in baptism. Inside Iran, if the government found out that you were baptized, you would be automatic uh, imprisonment. And so rather than do that inside their country, they came outside for a special event like this. One by one, the young and old got dunked. Men, women, and children, all of whom renounced Muhammad and professed their faith in Jesus Christ in a swimming pool rented for the occasion. 53-year-old Fari Bors waited 10 years for this moment. I accepted Christ when I was 43 years old. There was no way for me to get baptized in Iran because of the dangers we face. Today, my faith is complete. 16-year-old Sarah accepted Christ four years ago. I became a Christian after seeing Jesus in a dream. As I was getting baptized this morning, I felt the Holy Spirit come upon me in a new way. Entire families got baptized. It feels very good. I'm very happy. My whole family is happy. And what makes this baptism all the more significant is that the majority of Iranians in attendance have come from the nation's third largest city of Mashhad, which also happens to be one of Shia Islam's most holiest cities. Ilahi, once a devout Muslim, said the Quran left her with more questions than answers. This was the appointed time for me to get baptized. Also, I know God used the past 11 years to grow my faith so I could endure difficult times. Experts say her testimony and that of many others points to evidence that God is advancing his kingdom in Iran. We have never seen such an unprecedented growth of an underground church anywhere else before. Mike Ansari, an Iranian by birth, is director of operations at Mohabbat TV. In 2006, it became the first 24-hour Farsi Christian channel to beam gospel programs into Iran. The majority baptized this weekend came to faith by watching Mohabbat TV. Some of these believers wait, waited for many, many years to be baptized. They want to tell the world that they belong to Jesus. They want to tell the world that what was before is dead and now they're a new creation. Ansari says many Iranians, especially the young, feel disillusioned with Islam and record numbers are turning to this channel to learn more about Christianity. Roughly about 16 million Iranians uh, within the last uh, 12 months have viewed one or, one, uh, or more of our programs on, on satellite TV and also on their, uh, on their mobile devices. That roughly uh, translates to about 20% of Iran's population. Uh, and that is an overwhelming number. Mohabbat is now one of four satellite channels broadcasting continuous Christian programming into Iran.
Since we didn't know other believers or were part of a house church, there was nobody to help us grow in our faith. We could only grow through watching Muhabbat TV and with the Holy Spirit's help to get stronger in our faith. Nathan Rastampour led a house church in Iran for 10 years until he was forced to flee because of religious persecution. Now he hosts a show on Muhabbat TV, teaching folks how to safely run a house church inside Iran. God is using this house church show to, to sh not only share the gospel, but also to equip the house churches and make leaders. And those who track the growth of Christianity around the world say the one place where the faith is growing the most is in the Islamic Republic of Iran. Edward Hovsepian says this is nothing short of a miracle. His brother, Haik Hovsepian, an Assemblies of God pastor, was murdered in Iran for his faith in 1994. He says no matter how hard the government tries, it hasn't been able to stop the spread of Christianity. They are very scared of the Bible, and they realize many Iranians are attracted to Christianity. The government persecutes them, hoping to undo the effect. But the result is the opposite, as more come to faith. After a few days of fellowship, teaching, and encouragement, the 20 believers returned to Iran, energized and committed to sharing the love of Christ with their countrymen. Ansari says these exclusive images should encourage Christians that God is moving on the hearts of Iranians. There is a lot of good news that is coming out of Iran, and we need to focus on that and celebrate that. We are hoping that the results that are being shared with the, with the church in the West would encourage the body of Christ in the Western world that uh, God is very much alive among Muslims and he's doing a great job. George Thomas, CBN News.